So let's go right now inside this on create method and we're gonna initialize our array. And so we have to type in boolean and then we have to use the square brackets and then we have to give a name to our boolean array and I just want to give you an example of an application that has multiple lights or just uh, light bulbs that can be turned on or off so in order to make sure that we have the functionality of this application we're going to be using an array of booleans and as you already know boolean can have a value of true or false and so that's very good in order to represent the fact that the light can be turned on or off so uh, that being said let's name our array with um, kind of a question so we're going to say is light turned on and so we're storing a couple of boolean variables one variable for each uh, light bulb and uh, that variable can be true if the light is turned on or false if the light is turned off so uh, we're gonna go right now and initializing using the new keyword so new boolean array and then four because we want to have four elements and at this moment when we do this kind of uh, initialization we have all the slots set to false so that's by default in a boolean array uh, and all you need to do is to make sure that you turn on a couple of lights if you want so what we can do is just to type in um, for the first light true so we just want to specify the ones that are turned on because all of them are by default turned off so we just have to uh, switch them on a bit so we're gonna say um, the first one was true the second one we can leave it as false so the third one which has index 2 we're just gonna set it to true Okay, so that's one way to do this uh, kind of problem or otherwise what you can do is you can just go and use this uh, initializer in uh, curly brackets so you can just say true false and true false so right now we have four light bulbs and I can also use a final int variable or just a constant in order to make sure that I have the number of lights. So I'm just going to set it to 4 and it has to match exactly how many values I have here. And I'm just going to go right now and use a, a traversal with for loop. So just a normal for loop that has an iterator. And so I'm just going to use this. Um, integer i equals to 0 and so I'm just going to start from the first one and the last one the last uh, light bulb uh, will have the index uh, 3 so I'm just going to go with i up to number of lights I can also go up to is light turn on dot length but that's not so much uh, readable it's not so explicit uh, and understandable so that's why I'm just using this constant in order to make our problem program uh, much easier so I'm just going to use this i++ right now in order to specify that i is going to increment by one after each loop and I'm just going to display a toast message on the screen I'm going to say light number and then you can say light bulb number and then uh, the number is just the index I'm just passing the index right now so um, in order to specify if it's turned on or turned off I'm just gonna use these brackets right here and I'm gonna use the question mark operator and I'm gonna show you how it works I'm just gonna say is light turned on and then I'm passing this uh, I as an index so I'm just using uh, all the light bulbs I'm checking all the light bulbs if they are uh, turned on or off and so I'm using the question mark operator right now and what I'm doing right here is uh, I'm using uh, afterwards a message if the light bulb is turned on then I'm using a colon as a separator and then a message that is displayed if the light bulb is turned off so I'm just gonna say is turned on and otherwise is turned off Okay, so as you can see right now, this is the message that we want to display on the screen. And it's going to say light bulb number, and then depends on the number. 
and also depends on what's stored inside our array for that index. Um, and we're going to see it's turned on or it's turned off. So I'm just going to go right now over here and run the emulator. And we're going to see what's displayed for our light bulbs. And as you can see, we have um, true, false, true, false. So that's why we see on, off, on, off. So that's what it is displayed on the screen. That's what we actually expected. Just need to put a space right here so that it just looks uh, more like a sentence. And also what we can do is we can sort this array. So I'm just going to show you how to sort it. I'm going to use arrays.sort. And afterwards, we're just going to pass this uh, is lights turned on array of booleans. But still, there is a problem. It says that cannot resolve method sort boolean. So it cannot sort a primitive type boolean array. So that's why we just have to change this to capital B. And it should be working right now. As you can see, we don't have the error again. So I'm just going to run again the emulator. And we're going to see this sorted. So what we see on the screen is off and then off and then on and on. So that means that the false values come first and then the true values come afterwards. So that's how you basically sort an array of booleans.